Oh, thank God somebody picked up. Nico, that you? Angelo? Hello? Oh. Oh, no. You're not one of our developers, are you? All the devs must have been taken, just like I was. The game is supposed to be shipped off to the production server today. If we don't make the deadline, Mr. Marinera is going to... Plus, the fan base is not going to be happy if they can't play Magical Spaghetti Girl this weekend. Oh, okay, calm down, Joey, calm down. This ain't the end. There's still some time. There is someone in the office. <sighs> hey, you. Yeah, you on the computer. I'm going to need your help. I'm, uh, I'm a bit tied up right now, and I can't make it to the office, so the deployment is up to you. It's okay, though. Joey Pistachio, lead developer, is here to walk you through it. Just don't hang up. Because I can't call you back if you do. I, uh, only get one phone call. Anyway, it's going to be painless. Just four easy steps. You just have to remote into the development build server, pull the latest code from the project repository, then run the build scripts. Then finally, copy the package to the production site and publish the game. Bada bing, bada boom. You save the day. What do you mean you aren't familiar with the Farfale terminal? Ugh, all right. I'll go over how it works. Fafale is state-of-the-art, but it acts much like other operating systems. It's got folders, which can contain other folders or files, creating a tree structure. You interact with the system by typing commands in the terminal window. Commands can tell you what folder you're in, move between folders, run scripts, and a whole lot of other baloney. I'll explain when we get to it. Make sense so far? The first command I'll teach you lets you list what files and folders exist in the current directory. All you have to do is type Listeroni into the terminal. Go ahead and try it. Sweet. Now you can see the current directory and what's in it. The next command lets you move between folders. Just type Folderoni and then the folder you want to move to. Try moving into the logs folder using Folderoni and then use Listeroni to see what's in there. Also move back up to the parent folder by using two dots as the folder name. Try moving back up to the root with folderoni dot dot. So, that's the main way you get around. Move folders with folderoni and see what's in the current folder with listeroni. Okay, first step. Remote access into the build server. I would do this myself, but I don't think the boys in blue would let me see a computer screen. All I need to tell you is the IP address of the machine. It's, uh, the IP is, uh, dang it, Joey, how come you can't remember it? Mama Pistachio was right. I got a bad memory. We'll have to look at the server notes to get the IP. The file that has the info should be located at user slash common slash notes. Navigate there using Folderoni. If you get lost, you can always see where you currently are with Listeroni. Okay. Now, assuming you're in the right place, you should find a file named serverinfo.txt. This is where I keep my notes, usually, because I'll forget it if I don't write it down. You can see what's in a text file by using the command printeroni, followed by the name of the text file.
try printing the contents of server info.txt using the printeroni command. Ah, there we go. That's the IP address of the development server. I'll add it to your readme so you don't forget it. I'm going to teach you a new command. This lets you access other Farfalle machines via the internet and interact with them as if you were there. Basically magic, if you ask me. Not magical spaghetti girl magic, but technology magic, you know? Huh? You can connect to any unprotected server by using the command calzone, followed by the IP address of the server. You can do a calzone command regardless of the folder you're currently in. If you type in a valid IP, you'll remote calzone into it. Let's connect to the development server. Type in calzone followed by the IP of the development server we pulled from the text file. We're in. We're on our way to publishing Magical Spaghetti Girl 7. The Farfalle terminal now interacts with the dev server instead of the local box. Next on the menu is to pull the latest code. Okay, if you do a Listeroni, you can see the folder where the game code is. It's in a folder called MSG7 Game Code. Don't try to go into the folder called Top Secret, okay? That is off limits. Anyway, Folderoni into the code folder, please. Now, let me, Joey Pistachio, educate you on the finer points of gluten. So, this is a local copy of the game code, but it's out of date. I think Nico added some last minute bug fixes that need to be in the build. We store the game code in the cloud in a gluten repository. So we need to get the latest code changes from the cloud. To examine the new changes, type the command gluten fresh. That's right, I forgot that I had unsaved changes. I was working on some new weapons. A fettuccine fairy sword, a Noki power shield, oh, and some effing amazing Parmesan gauntlets. You know, stuff that could really improve the longevity of Spaghetti Girl. Too bad I couldn't get it done in time. I suppose we'll just have to discard those changes. Discard the changes by entering the command gluten-free. Then fetch the changes using gluten-fresh. As I thought, looks like Nico did make some changes. That Nico, I tell ya, he's not that great. Bug fixes, schmug fixes. I had some amazing unfinished content. <sighs> Players will never get a chance to swing those new magical pasta weapons at the pepperoni zombies created by the evil Dr. Mozzarella. Anyway, all we need to do is commit the changes to the local gluten repository. Type the command gluten ingest. Hey, we're 
are about halfway done. Good work so far. I'm surprised they haven't made me hang up yet. I suppose there's a lot of us developers to process here at the station. <coughs> okay, now that we have the code, let's build the game. The game is built in a two-step process. First, a pasta script is compiled into a dot dish package. Then a pizza script is used to package additional code and assets into the final dinner package. That's the file we will deploy to the production server. You can run pasta scripts using the boil command, and you can run pizza scripts using the bake command. In this directory, there should be one of each script type. Go ahead and run them both. That's right. Running a script requires elevated access. Anytime you see that message, you can get around it by typing the command Godfather, and then the command you really want to use. It will prompt you for the root password, though. If I tell you the root password, you got to keep it to yourself, all right? The root password is I love pasta 123 No spaces. Now, try running the script by typing Godfather followed by the bake or boil command, and enter the root password when it prompts you. Baby, we're so close I can taste it like the memory of Mama Pistachio's famous 15-layer lasagna on my tongue. Uh, all right, last step. Upload the file to the production server. Once you do this, gamers across the nation will be playing this amazing game. The command to upload the package is called Carbonara. All you have to do is enter Carbonara followed by the name of the dinner file you generated. It should be spaghetti.dinner. It will prompt you to enter the game details, so don't type in anything stupid, okay, pal? We did it! The game! We got it to the production server! You're a lifesaver. Couldn't have done it without you. Uh, I guess I probably won't hear from you again, huh? You know, with me, uh, probably going to prison. It'll be fine. We didn't really do anything wrong. None of the developers did. 
but that's not what the police over on our side feel. But it was worth it to make sure people play this game and only this game. So, before I hang up the phone, I need you to promise me something. This, uh, this game we made, it's, it's something special, okay? It's going to be the best game ever released. We've guaranteed it. And no, I don't mean Magical Spaghetti Girl 7, or even Magical Spaghetti Girl 8. I'm talking about this one, the one you're playing. I, I've said too much. If, uh, if the feds come and talk to you, you don't know anything about this deployment. As far as you know, the game was built and published sometime earlier in the week. Now, I've got to go. They're taking me into questioning. Thanks for helping me. You really saved me. And the game. Oh, also, you have the root password now. But don't you go looking in that top secret folder. Don't go into it. Don't look at what's in it. Don't run any scripts. Nothing. You will leave it alone, capiche? Anyway, good job. Arrivederci.